almost. And that's just listening with my ear. A glimpse of the past and of the future for an honored tradition in the Muskogee Creek Nation. This is not exactly perfect. Nelson Harjo is a member of the Creek Tribe and a flute maker. On this day, he's sitting on the grounds of the original council house in Okmogee, showing his grandson Jace how to make a traditional Native American flute. Just a tad higher, and I think we're there. So it might not be exact. Nelson has been making flutes for 20 years. His handcrafted work can sell for as much as $400 a piece. But money is not his motivation. When I come in to be a flute maker, that was because, uh, you know, I love music so much and I, and I thought it'd be real neat to be able to make my own instrument. And that one's really close. His other motivation for making flutes is his love for the traditions of the Creek tribe and his concern that those traditions stay alive. There are only three flute makers left in the Creek tribe and Nelson is one of them. One lives in Texas, and uh, of course, I'm the other, and then I'm, I'm trying to think who the other gentleman is, and I can't remember his name, but there's three of us that are left. But Nelson hopes that soon there will be a fourth flute maker. Now I have one in my family, and it's my grandson, that is actually going to learn, because I didn't ask him. He came to me. For Nelson, the flute is as much a spiritual instrument as it is a musical instrument. Well, then that's why most people like the flute music, because there's that connection of that spiritualness that's all in all of us. Not just me, but all of us. And he's passing that spiritual connection down to his grandson, his family, and the future of the Muscogee Creek Nation.